Hey Got Lovers and welcome back to another video. Thanksgiving dinner is one of the most, if not the most, anticipated dinners of the year. It is a celebratory time for family and friends to come together and enjoy a delicious meal. As you prepare your Thanksgiving menu, you may be wondering if your cat can partake in the holiday fun. As you'll soon learn, some of these classic holiday foods are safe for cats, while others are not. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's head over to the Thanksgiving table and find out what our feline friends can and cannot snack on. Non-toxic Thanksgiving foods. The following are some classic Thanksgiving foods and ingredients that are safe for cats to consume. However, it is important to give these foods to your cat in limited amounts. While your cat should primarily stick to eating cat food, you can give it a small taste of these foods as a treat. Number one, turkey. Turkey meat is okay for cats to eat. However, it is important to only feed your cat unseasoned cooked turkey meat. Many of the seasonings that are used on turkey are bad for your cat's digestion. However, when it is plain, turkey is perfectly healthy for your cat to consume, and it makes for a delicious snack. Turkey is actually a common ingredient in many cat foods, so cats tend to love it. As a side note, there are a couple of exceptions to turkey, which we'll explain later. Number two, salmon. Like turkey, salmon is also used in many cat foods. Cats tend to really enjoy the taste of salmon, so your cat will likely love a bite. If you give your cat some salmon, make sure that it is properly cooked and not seasoned. Raw salmon can be dangerous for cats as it can lead to parasites and illness. Additionally, make sure that the salmon is not prepared with lots of salt, as sodium in high doses can lead to illness. Number three, ham. Ham is another Thanksgiving classic that is safe to give to your cat in appropriate amounts. You need to be careful with your cat's ham intake, however, as it tends to be high in sodium and fat. But in moderation, ham can make a great treat for your cat on Thanksgiving. As always, make sure it is unseasoned. Number four, plain, canned, or cooked pumpkin or squash. Pumpkin and squash are not only safe for your cat to eat in moderation, but they are also healthy. Plain, canned, or cooked pumpkin or squash is a great treat for your cat. It is known to have various health benefits due to its high fiber content. In fact, some vets recommend feeding your cat plain pumpkin puree as an at-home treatment for constipation. Just make sure the pumpkin or squash is free of seasonings and spices. Number five, cranberries. Cranberries are not a popular choice for cats as they tend to not like the taste, but it is safe for them to eat in small amounts. If your cat is curious, feel free to give them a bit of plain, canned, or cooked cranberries. However, make sure that you give your cat cranberries before you make cranberry sauce. Added sugars, like in cranberry sauce, and other ingredients should be avoided, but plain cranberries are fine. Number six, apples and blueberries. Like cranberries, apples and blueberries are typically not a cat's first choice. Cats actually lack sweet receptors on their tongues, so most fruits probably don't taste very appealing. But your cat may be interested in your apples and blueberries purely out of curiosity, and it's okay to give them a bite. However, make sure the apples and blueberries are peeled and seedless. Number seven, green beans, broccoli, carrots, and peas. Several different common Thanksgiving vegetables are safe for cats to consume. Whether the cats like the vegetables is a different story. Regardless, green beans, carrots, and peas are all safe for cats to eat as long as they are unseasoned. Green beans, broccoli, carrots, and peas are actually all useful for a cat's digestion. Plus, they all have high water content, so they will help keep your cat hydrated. However, you might not be able to get your cat to eat them. If your cat does happen to be a fan of vegetables, it's still a good idea to keep portion sizes small. Number eight, corn. Surprisingly, cats tend to enjoy eating corn. Luckily for them, it is safe to consume in small amounts. Whether they are drawn to the taste or the texture, corn is often one of a cat's favorites among the Thanksgiving foods, except the meats, of course. It is safe for cats to eat corn as long as it is unseasoned, unbuttered, and not on the cob. Corn is also quite healthy for cats as it is a common ingredient in cat foods. It has lots of nutrients and vitamins and can aid in digestion. Number nine, potatoes and sweet potatoes. It is okay for cats to eat potatoes as long as they are not raw. Cats can eat small amounts of potatoes that are roasted or baked. The potatoes just have to be cooked. Raw potatoes contain a substance called solanine, and it is toxic to cats. Sweet potatoes, on the other hand, do not contain solanine. As such, they are safe to feed to cats. As always, make sure to only feed your cat small portions of properly prepared potatoes or sweet potatoes, and make sure that they are unseasoned and unbuttered. Toxic Thanksgiving Foods While there are a good amount of Thanksgiving foods that are safe to feed to your cat in moderation, there are some that can be very harmful. Next, we will review some of the most popular holiday foods and ingredients that are toxic to cats. These range in toxicity, with some causing minor health issues like indigestion, and others being incredibly dangerous. Number one, turkey bones and skin. 
While turkey meat is a safe and delicious Thanksgiving food that you can give to your cat in small amounts, turkey bones and skin should be avoided. Turkey bones are serious choking hazards and can also lead to digestion issues. Turkey's skin is very high in fat and can also lead to health issues like pancreatitis. As such, it is a good idea to stick to just the turkey rather than the bones and skin. Your cat can still enjoy a delicious meaty snack without the risks. Number 2. Mac and Cheese Mac and cheese is not safe to feed to cats due to its high dairy content. Cats have a very hard time digesting dairy and it can lead to digestion issues including vomiting and diarrhea. The main ingredients of mac and cheese, milk, cheese, and butter are all very high in dairy content. Therefore, you should not feed your cat any mac and cheese. It also tends to be high in sodium, which can pose threats to your cat's health. Number 3. Pumpkin Pie Though pumpkin is a safe, delicious, and even healthy snack for cats, it is not the case with pumpkin pie. Many of the other ingredients in pumpkin pie, sugar, dairy products, and spices are not safe for your cat to ingest. They are likely to cause digestive issues and give your cat an upset stomach. Plus, some pumpkin pies contain nutmeg, which is very dangerous for cats to eat. Number 4. Mashed Potatoes Cooked and roasted potatoes are okay for cats, and plain mashed potatoes are too. However, rarely are mashed potatoes served plain. If your mashed potato dish contains butter, salt, seasonings, or garlic, you should not feed it to your cat. All of these ingredients can be harmful to cats, especially garlic, which is toxic to cats. Only feed your cat mashed potatoes when they are plain before seasonings and additional ingredients have been added. Number 5. Gravy In most cases, gravy is not safe for cats to eat, especially if it is store-bought. Most gravy dishes contain garlic or onions, both of which are extremely toxic to cats. Plus, the seasonings found in gravy are likely to give your cat a stomach ache. The only time you should ever feed your cat gravy is if you made it yourself and can ensure that it contains no harmful ingredients. Number 6. Deviled Eggs Even though cooked eggs make great snacks for cats, deviled eggs should be avoided. Deviled eggs often contain ingredients like onions and scallions, which are toxic for cats. Mustard, mayonnaise, and seasonings can also be difficult for your cat to digest. Plain, cooked eggs, however, are a great source of nutrients and protein. With that said, you are more than welcome to feed your cat a properly prepared egg before you make them deviled. Number 7. Cranberry Sauce While it is okay to give your cat a taste of cranberry, the same does not apply to cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce tends to be very high in sugar, which offers cats no nutritional value but can lead to health issues. As a general rule, you should avoid feeding your cat anything that has high levels of sugar. It offers no benefits to them but can definitely do some harm. Number 8. Stuffing Stuffing should not be fed to our feline friends as they often contain ingredients that are toxic to cats like garlic, onions, and scallions. Plus, bread is generally not healthy for cats to eat. While fully baked bread is not toxic to cats, it does not offer any health benefits. Speaking of bread, unbaked dough should never be given to cats. Raw dough can be very harmful if ingested by a cat. So while bread and stuffing may be a delicious part of your Thanksgiving meal, it should be kept away from your cat. Number 9. Grapes and Raisins Grapes and raisins are extremely toxic to cats and can lead to severe health issues including kidney failure and gastrointestinal issues. Grapes and raisins are used in some Thanksgiving recipes, so you need to be careful when handling them near your cat. It is very important to make sure that your cat is not able to access or accidentally ingest grapes or raisins. Number 10. Desserts Many dessert ingredients contain xylitol, a sugar that is very toxic to cats. Even the smallest amount of xylitol can be incredibly harmful and even lethal to your cat. Ingesting xylitol can lead to liver failure, seizures, and death. However, it is safe for humans and is used as a sweetener in many desserts. It is always better to be safe than sorry, so you should avoid feeding your cat any prepared desserts. Even those without xylitol tend to be high in sugar and are not healthy for your cat to eat. Instead, give your cat some certified cat treats as a dessert. Number 11. Common Cooking Ingredients there are lots of common ingredients that are not safe for cats to consume, some of which have already been mentioned. These are very popular in cooking and are used in a lot of Thanksgiving dishes. Ingredients that are harmful to cats include onions, garlic, scallions, nutmeg, butter, and mushrooms. Your cat should not ingest any dishes that have been prepared with these items. Now that you know what your cat can and can't eat at the Thanksgiving table, we hope you're both able to enjoy the holiday fun. If your cat has ingested something harmful, act quickly and seek veterinary treatment immediately. However, the best way to keep your cat safe is by taking preventative measures. Now it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Stuart. His guardian says, Stuart is a three-year-old Turkish fan I got at nine weeks old. 
He loves the water and playing fetch with glow sticks, which is not surprising because the breed is known for liking water and acting like a dog at times. He likes his food and treats, but the way to his heart is play. He loves to play a hybrid of hide and go seek and tag. He's also super social and demands attention from anyone that visits the house. He's not the type to hide from strangers and is more likely to attack their feet and rub against them purring. Congratulations, Stuart. Keep being possome. Point to your cat for a chance to be featured. Visit the entry link in the description box below. So does your cat like any Thanksgiving staples on the safe list? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.